Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung. So this is part two of how to boot up Linux on a USB thumb drive. You've gotten your USB flash drive, so that's good. You've unpacked it, hopefully. And now you're going, you're going to need to do a couple things before we can actually start the transfer of Linux to that flash drive. So first, you're going to need to get the Linux operating system, the ISO image, to put on the, hard, the thumb drive. And you're going to go to ubuntu.com. And this is pretty easy. All you have to do is go to get Ubuntu, or you can click download. So we'll go to get Ubuntu. First thing you want to do is download and install. You're going to come up to this menu. You're going to pick, probably you're going to pick the latest version. As of July 2011, it is Ubuntu 11.04. And then pick your bit operating system. I'm on a 64-bit CPU and just pick 64-bit. If you're on like a Core i5, Core i7, Core i3 even, uh, any modern processor should be able to handle 64-bit. If you're running on an older processor, 32-bit is fine. So 64-bit, click on Start Download, and your browser is going to start downloading. Okay, I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to do that. I'm going to cancel that out. So after you've downloaded it, you scroll down a little bit, and we have step two here. It's very helpful. Burn your CD or create a USB drive. So I would like to create, and you're going to be creating a USB stick, so click on that. And then if you're using Windows, which I am here, you're going to click on Windows right there. Click on Show Me How. And then what you need to do is you don't need to insert your USB stick just yet, but you're going to need to download this universal USB installer. So click on that. It's going to take you to another website called pendrivelinux.com. So this kind of gives you a little bit of instructions on how to use it, but I'm going to tell you how to do it in a little bit. And then click on download right there. Click on download and it's going to install. Okay, so after everything's installed, we're going to go to our folder where everything went. And right here you can see that Ubuntu 11.4 64-bit is about 714 megabytes. Our universal USB installer is about one megabyte, so it's pretty, pretty small. All right, so we've got our two programs downloaded. Going to stick in our USB stick right now. going to detect it. You can see here, I've already actually installed the Ubuntu on my USB stick, but I'm going to format it just for demonstration purposes. So before we actually start the ball rolling here, and we're going to start it by clicking this universal USB installer, before we do that, we have to make sure of two things. First, we have to format our USB stick and make sure it's in FAT32. So we're going to right click on that format. You can see here, it lists the capacity here, FAT32, allocation size, should be 4096. And then select Quick Format and Start. So that's going to nuke it. Okay, so our USB stick is formatted. The second thing you want to do is make sure your antivirus is not running. The reason for that is when you install Linux onto this USB stick, it's going to alter the master boot record. And a lot of antivirus programs, they're going to look at this and go, whoa, that seems to be like a virus, and it's going to stop it. So what you want to do if you're on Windows and you're using the Microsoft security uh, bullcrap thing, you're going to come here to this computer status right here. You can see it's at risk because I've already disabled the real-time checking. We're going to open that. And you can see here, real-time protection is off. So you're going to go over to settings, real-time protection, and you can see I have that checked off. Normally, this would be checked right there, but check that off. After you're done with all this, you could turn this back on. Actually, I would recommend that you turn it back on. Okay, so once you have those two things done, then we can actually double-click on this universal USB installer. Click Run. Click I agree. Now this is pretty pretty dirt simple. You're going to click the drop down and you are installing Ubuntu 
Click on that. Now you're going to browse to your ISO. So you're going to click Browse, and you can see, luckily it found it, because I put both items into the same folder. So you're going to click on that. And then you're going to select your USB flash drive. Be careful with this. Hopefully it's only going to show one letter. In my case, it's E. The reason you want to be very, very careful with this is if you have other external drives plugged in, you don't want to blow away your you know, your current drive. Let's say you have a drive full of your, your pictures and stuff like that. If, if you mess up, there is a possibility of you accidentally formatting that. So just make sure you pick the right drive. So E. If you want to format it as well, you can click that checkbox. We don't need to because we already formatted it. And this last option is pretty interesting. It allows you to create a persistent file. So to save changes, like let's say you change the screen size or the desktop, or you put a screensaver on that, you can actually have those settings save. And then the next time you boot up on that USB drive, those settings will come up. So I like to put about one gig. You don't need to put much and you just drag the slider across, so something like that. And then we click Create. And then it's gonna tell you all this stuff is gonna happen, so we're gonna click Yes, and it's going to run through everything. Okay, after everything finishes, it's, it's gonna take a couple minutes to do that, but after everything finishes, what you're gonna do is you could keep the USB stick in there, you could restart your computer, and then depending on your computer, it's probably going to be like F12 or F2 or Escape to get to the boot menu. And you're just going to boot off your USB flash drive and then you will be into Linux. Thanks for watching.